Michael Harrio Harris watching Baller Alert. Hey, now, I pre listen, I, I try. I'm not like you, though. Now, speaking of big ballers, you know, you are the one that actually funded, you know, uh, Death Row Records. And to see the docuseries come to life today, how does it feel to, you know, kind of want to be a part of this legacy and then see a little bit of Tupac and Afini's, you know, life come to light in uh, this new docuseries here? I just think that this was the great next step because I actually seen the exhibit. And, it, and I've seen people in long lines coming in and seeing Tupac and his mother in a different way. But to now see it in film, I think it's going to take it to the next level. Because we like to see things visually. And, and so uh, to be able to see uh, their journey and, and, and how they cross-connected, I think it's going to be amazing. Were you able to see a little bit of the episodes as of yet? No, I haven't. Okay, wow, so yeah. you're going in there like everybody else. Just, cold turkey. What are you expecting? What do you hope to expect from the episodes when you watch? I, 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 I expect nothing but the best. Because of the people that help assemble it, I know they, they have did their previous work, Hughes Brothers, Nelson, George. I know that they took this project on, and it means more than them just a paycheck, that it was an opportunity to tell a profound story. And so I already know from that, but then also knowing his story and her story, that the combination of everybody together is going to be phenomenal. Now, understanding their story and going into this, you know, premiere tonight, going to watch the other episodes, is there anything that you hope that they shed a light on from their lives that you hope to see in the docuseries tonight? No, I just, I just hope that it, it focuses on the humanity. That, 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 yeah, he was a great rapper, he was a great singer, and, and they, was, you know, they was fighting for rights, but at the, at the, at the same time, they were, we all miracles. Yeah. We all born miracles, and I think people forget that. And, and I hope tonight it, it sheds a light on the humanity, what they really represented to this, for this place we call Earth. Yeah, yeah. and hip-hop, too. And hip-hop, come on, man. And this is what, the what, 50th anniversary of hip-hop? 50th anniversary of hip-hop, right. Yeah, doing right. And it's the 30th anniversary of Death Row. So just to have this, uh, these historical moments all to get wrapped in one is a beautiful occasion. Now, 30 years of Death Row, question here is this, you know, will we ever get more stories or maybe a docuseries or even a biopic about Death Row Records? Can we expect that? It's come, it? Actually, actually, it may be a series. Yeah, you might be able to get doses of it continuously okay. in the near future. I was going to ask, when can we expect it? But. Yeah, we got Snoop's biopics coming out, okay. and then we have uh, our version of the story that uh, sheds lights on all the players that help create Death Row uh, that never really get their flowers. And uh, hopefully in, in the telling of the story that we are putting together, that you get to see the full effect of what everybody did to make it become what it became. Which, before I let you go, which member of Death Row do you feel like truly does deserve their flowers and they weren't given their flowers during the time that Death Row was, you know, uh, saying? Just one, but I, I really want to say Jewel, rest in peace. She, uh, she was a phenomenal singer and, uh, and we was trying to put something together before she passed away just to finish her album. She was the voice uh, of Death Row and she never got a raise, actually got a little bit uh, she was able to get out there and put an album out there. So you got, you got, but she didn't get all of what she should get. But it's a lot of people that when you see the story, you'll see how profound they were, and 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 they never got a chance to shine. So the few people that did shine took death row through the stratosphere. But in the story, you will see by hearing their music and what they did that, that how great they were too. You know, and Doc, you know, Doc was also a premier player, and the fact that he lost his vocal cords right at the start of the company, uh, that was that was tragic too, as well. But he's still a phenomenal human being who's trying to do great stuff for the community. So you're gonna get to see the Death Row family in its raw form. Baller can't wait. No.